Oil prices rise as Saudi lifts its selling price and Forbes Middle East reveals the top 100 listed companies. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Oil prices rose more than $2 in early trade today after Saudi raised the selling price for its Arab light crew to Asia to a $6.50 premium, up from a premium of $4.40 in June. West Texas traded near $120 a barrel after earlier rising to the highest level in almost three months. It's seen as an indicator of tight supply even after OPEC Plus agreed to accelerate its output increases over the next two months. Oil has rallied almost 60% percent this year. Saudi Arabia's non-oil private sector maintained strong expansion in May, with S&P saying demand remained resilient against higher output costs. Saudi's Purchasing Managers Index, a barometer of the non-oil private sector's operating conditions, was unchanged at 55.7 in May compared to April. The figure is the lowest reading since January and comes below the series average of 56.8. The output sub-index, which assesses business activity, declined to 50. 59.3 in May from 59.7 in April. Saudi energy firm Aqua Power has signed a power purchase agreement with Saudi Power Procurement for the Leila Photovoltaic Solar Project in Riyadh worth $107 million. The Saudi-listed energy firm will own 40.1% of the project for 30 years. Under the deal, Aqua will develop, construct and operate the Leila PV solar IPP plant. The 91 megawatt Leila project is being implemented to help maximize renewable energy in the kingdom. Forbes Middle East has released its annual ranking of the top 100 listed companies for 2022, highlighting the region's largest, most valuable and most profitable companies. Of the 100 firms, 33 are listed in Saudi Arabia. UAE-based firms rank second with 25 entries, followed by Qatar with 16. Combined, these three Gulf nations make up nearly 75% of the ranking. To construct the list, data was gathered from listed stock exchanges and companies were evaluated based on sales, profits, assets and market value. Israeli cybersecurity company Perimeter 81 says it's now valued at $1 billion, giving it unicorn status after it raised $100 million. The round, led by B Capital, marked a jump in valuation from its last raise in 2020 when it was valued at $200 million. It offers secure network solutions for the hybrid workforce on its cloud-based platform. The four-year-old company, which is not yet profitable, has more than doubled its annual recurring revenue year over year. Elon Musk seems to be backtracking from his decision to pause hiring and reduce staff by 10%. In new comments, Musk says the EV maker's headcount will increase over the next 12 months, but the number of salaried staff will be flat. It comes after Musk said in an email to Tesla executives last week that he has a super bad feeling about the U.S. economy and needs to cut the number of Tesla employees by about 10%. Queen Elizabeth II brought the curtain down on her historic Platinum Jubilee celebrations, making another public appearance on the last of four days of festivities and vowing to maintain her record-breaking reign. The 96-year-old monarch, who has been troubled by mobility problems, appeared on the Buckingham Palace balcony after the Trooping the Colour military parade. Britain's longest-serving sovereign said she remains committed to serving to the best of her ability, supported by her family. I'm Rami Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.